जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज लाइफ प्रोसेसेस इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम पार्ट वन वेरियस ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स आर कंटिन्युअसली परफॉर्मिंग देयर फंक्शंस इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी अलॉन्ग विथ द वेरियस सिस्टम्स लाइक डायजेस्टिव सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सर्क्युलेटरी एक्सक्रेटरी एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम डिफरंट एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स are performing their functions independently but through a complete coordination so that is the living organism and the life processes so coordinations between the systems it is the most important that is each life process contributes in its own way in the process of a energy production functioning of these life processes also requires the energy human and uh, other animals consumes the fruit and vegetables plants are autotrophs and they prepare their own food they utilize some of the food for themselves whereas remaining is stored in various parts like a fruit leaves stem roots etc we consume all these various plants material and obtain different nutrients like a carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals etc now which food material do we consume to obtain these nutrients so there are the substances like a carbohydrates obtained from a milk fruits jaggery cane sugar vegetables potatoes sweet potatoes sweet meat and the cereals like wheat maize ragi jowar millet rice etc and we get 4 kilo calorie energy per gram of a carbohydrate now why may be the players consuming these food stuffs majority of the sports player mostly consume a balanced diet which consists a complete pack of carbohydrates and more amount of proteins all provide them energy they eat chocolate for instant energy then what is the respiration and how does it occur so respiration means release of energy from the assimilation is called as the respiration now we will see that is the inhalation and the exhalation is called breathing when inhalation is done air enters the lungs the oxygen from this air enters the blood while carbon dioxide from the blood exist from the blood through exhalation co2 is given out and this gases exchange occurs through alveolar membrane and this is called external respiration the rbcs means which are the blood cells carry oxygen to every cell here inside the mitochondria tissue respiration or the internal respiration takes place the oxygen is used for production of energy by oxidation of a food nutrients energy is released in the form of a atp molecule mitochondria is a power house of energy so in that the glucose molecules are present so glucose have six c molecules hydrogen 12 molecules and oxygen six molecules in between that there is a covalent bond present between them all atoms now when uh, a molecule is oxidized it gains o2 atoms or it loses the electrons so carbohydrate of the food that we consume every day are mainly utilized for production of energy so this energy which is obtained from the atp molecules or energy is obtained in the form of a atp now for this purpose so glucose a type of a carbohydrate is oxidized step by step inside the cell this is called as the cellular respiration so cellular respiration have a two methods aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration 
aerobic respiration means oxygen is evolved and anaerobic respiration it means oxygen is not evolved so in anaerobic respiration मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एसिटिल को एंजाइम ए so there are the two molecules of NADH2 two molecules of CO2 are released during this process second tricarboxylic acid cycle when acetyl coenzyme A molecules enter the mitochondria the tricarboxylic acid cycle chain reaction takes place in mitochondria and acetyl part of acetyl coenzyme A is completely oxidized and releasing the molecules of carbon dioxide h2o nadh2 and fadh2 electron transfer chain reaction the electron transfer chain reaction takes place only in mitochondria and molecules of nadh2 and fadh2 form during all above processes participate in this electron transfer chain reaction from nadh2 molecule three molecules of atp and from fadh2 molecule two molecules of atp are produced during this cyclic reactions so along with atp water molecules are also formed during the chain reaction thus one molecule of a glucose gives a co2 and h2o along with the energy after complete oxidation in the presence of a oxygen the next is atp energy currency atp or adenosine triphosphate is energy rich molecule there are three components in atp adenine a nitrogenous compound pentose sugar ribose in bracket c5h10o5 and three phosphate groups thus it is a triphosphate molecule form from a adenosine ribonucleoside so there is energy stored in the bonds by which phosphate group are attached to each other as per the need of the cell energy is obtained from the atp molecules by breaking the phosphate bond and atp molecules are stored in the cell as per its need